folks, we're back with another sub replay Friday, and I'm ready to pog, I'm ready to game, and I'm ready to see what is going on with this wheel. What have my mods done this time? Why why am I looking at Kobe? Why why I, I see uh I believe that's Michael Jordan <laughs> who's ready to shake my hand. Let's let's see what's in store for me. Why? What? What are you doing? We've got NR best format, uh, AKA Doc Conrad with, uh, I don't know, Cyber Dragon Hers, a C metal tank, repair plant, network, and overflow. 40 cards versus opponent's 40. Hello, oh my God. Okay, it's the salads. Summon Jack Jaguar, make Bay Lynx. Overflow is a pretty good card, by the way. Overflow is like one of the best reasons to play Cyber Dragons IMO, at least in like lower power formats. I'm gonna go Gazelle here and then uh, the Bay Lynx. So Gazelle summon Bay Lynx gets the field spell. Gazelle effect send the, well, they send Rage, sure. Sent Rage, now we go Exceed in hand. Man, got everything, huh? One to two, Exceed summon uh, Wolf add back the Gazelle. Activate the field spell. Get Z's here for the uh, classic salad card, Guska. Uh, link again into Sunlight Wolf. Relink. Uh, Sunlight Wolf add the uh, second Sunlight Wolf add the Rage back past turn. D it's uh, it's turn two. Hello. Okay. Rage. Sure. We'll go network. Banish a light machine monster. Then we'll go overflow as well. Okay. Overflow pop. Network effect, banish the Dre, rage pop, sure. Network effect, then we have overflow effect as well because it was destroyed by a card effect. We can add a cyber spell track. They are going to ash this. What a weird, what a weird sequence of events. Okay. That summons back the hers. Oh, and the Dre. Nice. So we can link them off, make Seeger, I assume. Huh? Why? Why? Why are you here? Hers. Okay. It's not even... It's in this link zone. It's in the... It's in the... Okay. Repair plant. Dragon. Uh, Dre. Ethical way to use Reprodocus. <laughs> You're a machine now. You're a machine. You're a machine. You're a machine. <laughs> we ate <aided> him. <laughs> I assume this is NR because none of these cards are hollows. So I assume this is an NR deck and you've named yourself, of course, NR best format. Make Mirage Stallio. Battle phase. Okay. There's no way you have Zeus in this deck. <laughs> First Zeus salad summon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> Rise to the machines. You're a machine too. You're a machine too. My baby boy. My my baby boy! Summon Skull! <laughs> okay, we have very best plot for the Fairy Fiend Festival. Summon Skull. Summon Skull. I summon Summon Skull. Red Resonator. A Luber. Lady Labyrinth. And big welcome. What is going on? 60 cards versus our opponent's uh, 40. Let's do it up. Okay. Red Resonator summon, then a Luber. Special off of the, I guess, Red Resonator. 
then de the activate our Despia Theater field spell. Make <laughs> Archbeats call. <laughs> yo, yo, Archfiend stands going crazy. Swirl Slime and Chaos King Apocalypse make King Genghis is DDD. Summon the Lamia. We're going to flip Big Welcome here. Chain Lady on Chain Link 2 before our opponent can do anything. Big Welcome effect. Special summon the Lovely. And then put the what? <laughs> I just love we put the Synchro back. <laughs> Don't need it. All right, Swirl Slime. Extra normal into Rebel King Leonidas. All right, scale up. And summon back the king. Effect of Lamia to send the link. Gonna make King Deus Ex Machina X. Battle phase. Walk into lovely. Okay. Lady Labyrinth's such a, like, threat. Oh! No, my baby boy's getting finished! All right, there's Dark Contract with the Witch, which is a pop. I don't think they're activating it just yet. We're going to go Big Welcome here to put back the Monkey next. They're going to go Headhunt. Take the Lady, but we get to activate Lady in response. And then they're going to go Monkey next to negate. So they have to destroy a contract, which they control, but that negates the contract itself. Or not negates, but it, it, they were just activating it, so now we just don't have it. And then Big Welcome does resolve, so it just goes back, and now we get to alert. <laughs> Duh! Summon Skull! <laughs> Triple attack. Okay, Chaos King Apocalypse pop both summon. What? This is a quick effect? Well, draw two. <laughs> alert again! Okay, Banish Chandelier. Summon the Red Resonator. We can special summon the Edgem Chain from hand. We're going to... All right, let's activate Patchwork. He's back! He's back! <laughs> Polly with the Edge of Chain in hand! What is this guy? What do you mean? You are so based. Very best plot. You are so based. It's so incredible how based you are. I don't know how you do this every single time. The Archfiend. It's the Archfiend. We're playing Archfiend. We're going to set fair welcome. <laughs> oh, we're going to fuse with the... Uh, oh, my God. We're on Dark. Or Oracle King Dark. I guess it's fine. This is a guy you can make. Going to make Gilgamesh yet again. Refused with the Link and the Rebel King. Going to scale up yet again. Then Pen Summon back both. Oh, only the... Actually, we don't have the scales first of all. Kepler, obviously. De Deus Machina next yet again. Battle phase. Okay, we couldn't use Fair Welcome there. I, or, or we were saving it. Oh, no. We set it that turn, yeah. Now we're going to attack. Pop it. Set the Ghastly Glitch. Now we get to go Welcome Labyrinth as well. Set itself. Summon the Ariana. <laughs> Labyrinth set up. Target two of your Travis spells that are banished from your grave. Shuffle them. If you call your Fiend, set a different one. Set another Ghastly Glitch and Imperm. Flip, flip. <laughs> it's our Fiend. Ghastly Glitch. Send the Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Rhino Warrior effect. You can send a Fiend to the grave. We're going to send the... Huh? Diabolica the Draconique General? Archfiend! Ghastly Glitch! Pop, send Harris! It's Archfiends! It's all Archfiends! All Archfiends all the time! Harris, add Archfiend Commander. I've never seen any of these cards. Activate Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok. We're going to go Welcome Labyrinth. Summon another Labyrinth Archfiend. They're going to pen summon here the Griffin. Try and summon back, I assume, the... Oh. 
Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, this is the most I've never seen this card deck I've ever seen. A bit Archmean Commander summoned back the Synchro. Xyz with the call. Stop it. You're making the Archfiend Xyz. Archfiend's Ascent. Oh my god. Walk in. Walk in yet again. The Archfiend's in for lethal. Brilliant. Sublime. Fantastic. I've never seen any of these cards. This card is always treated as an Archfiend. Well, we have Dendromancer, a.k.a. Uh, 2214441811999913317771666666. Uh, you know, this is looking a lot like a lore deck. We got Keros, we got Albaz, we got Fractal, we got Cartesia, we got Branded in High Spirits. I'm feeling the lore. 46 versus our opponent's 40. Let's start with Fractal. Send the kit, activate the kit effect. We're going to send Nerval, Nerval effect. We're going to add a Tri Brigade. We're going to go add Fractal yet again. We're going to go uh, Branded in High Spirits here, reveal the Albaz, send Albion, send the Albaz in hand so we can go grab kit. That way we can activate all this stuff in the grave later. We're going to go kit effect to special. Uh, activate the effect of kit to add retribution. Put back the fractal. We don't need it. Going to activate Cartesia here. Special summon itself. We're going to Xyz. Oh, if you Xyz into the spring ant, I'm going to throw you across the room. Merrymaker. Oh, my God. Merrymaker send Branga. Sargus. Sargus add Tally Ho. Tally ho! Detach. Add the kit. Special summon back kit. Merrymaker and Let's Branga. Go. Link all of these off. Oh! Oh! Ew! Oh! Okay. Huh? Which? Those are normal. Make Artemis. Which effect? Huh? Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. Ass trap! I mean, butt trap! Nefarious Archfiend! <laughs> okay. Branga is going to banish both to go grab ourselves another kit. And link those off. Make Farajit. Oh, yeah, they're two beasts, I guess. Yeah. Awakening of the Possessed, uh, the Nefarious Sir Archfiend effect. We're going to add Possessed Partnerships. What is this deck? Farajit effect. Special to Karos. Now we can go Tri Brigade Gaming. We're going to banish two, making the Bear Broom. Ecclesia. I didn't even notice we had that. Huh? Farajit, Link Summon, Bear Broom, Jesus Christ. Okay, we are locking ourselves to Tri Brigades with Bear Brooms. We're going to go Bear Broom Effect. We're going to go grab Revolt. Then we're going to Chain Link. We're going to put back the kit. And then we're going to go Chain Link 3, Dry, Dry Ethereum, whatever this card. I don't know how to say it. Dry, en Dry Entia. Grab dom Dogmatic, Dogmatic Kerdry. Dogmatic Katerdry. Add Branded Fusion and Cartesia. What is happening? I'm so lost. Foolish send Trios. Diviner. Send Vala. Oh my god. Kujikiri curse draw two. Trios tribute. Druus worm. We are letting our opponent play the game as long as they want. Diviner effect because it's tribute. We're going to go Ecclesia here. Are we getting Albaz? Maxi, I think that's fine. We're gonna flip the revolt. Oh, that's fun. We can do the revolt first before the Ecclesia. So now we can summon. Oh, we do have the link two, so that's fine. We go link two, link three, link four. Nice. Easy Shureg, yeah. Okay. Summon the Albaz. 
Diviner effect summon. <laughs> Consecrated light. Oh my god. Albaz. What are we fusing into? We can't special summon lights or darks. Awakening on five. Nerval on six. Partnerships on seven. All right, Partnerships is going to special summon a spellcaster. Popping the Consecrated Light. Nerval. I guess we have a valid target for Albaz. But now that the Consecrated Light is gone, we can still... We can fuse yet again. So we're going to go Fairy Jeet, draw. We go, got into Mercurial. We're going to put that card back. We don't need it. Albaz effect fuse with the Druus Worm. We're going to make the Lubellion here. Now we're going to go Shureg. Banish the Trios. Now we go... Yeah, Saryuja gains the attack as well. Saryuja effect yet again. But we're going to go Druus Worm on Chainlink 2. We're going to go Lubellion here on Chainlink 3. And fuse with the... What? To make the Mirror Jade. <laughs> so it doesn't get sent off the Druid's Worm. Oh, my God. Yeah! <laughs> All of that for evenly matched. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Vala resolves. Okay, Vala effect. Mercurier effect, but it's negated by a call by. Vala summon Lopter. Lopter effect tribute. Summon the Mardell. Mardell effect. Grab the boss stage. And boss stage. End phase. End phase will go Mirror Jade. Send the Brigrand. Monstrosity. Sure, they're going to special summon. Summoning Har, but now we get to resolve. You can banish your Har, yeah. They're going to go Utgarda here, Tribute, banishing the Mirror Jade. But now we get to activate the Mirror Jade effect and pop everything on board. We get to go Brigrand as well. Boss stage, because we added a monster, gets to summon yet again. Are you playing too hard, you, you absolute wild person? Go Har yet again, Tribute on the effect of the High Spirits to negate. Now we go Ecclesia at end step. There's too much. There's too much. There's too much. There's too much. Remember, we had a full board and we still added everything. Va Vala effect. Vala effect off of the boss stage. Boss stage, some of those tokens. <laughs> and they said, forget it. It's over. It's so over. <laughs> Did they do it in the wrong order? Oh, no. Oh, no. No. They messed up the chain links. Oh, because the tokens would summon first. So there's no room for Har, right? No, it's Shover. Oh, that's why they conceded. No. <laughs>